All right, boys and girls, we're gonna look at your benchmark fraction sort activity. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm a student and go through um, some of these questions with you. That way, if there's any issues, you can watch this video and you can just double check yourself to make sure you're doing it right. All right, so I'm gonna pretend that I was on a student account. Um, so I'm just gonna pick a, a fake student account here and um, basically go through what you're supposed to do. And so what you're gonna do is, uh, first of all, when you are starting this assignment and you're looking onto Canvas, you will see the six pages worth of pictures that you're gonna to need to take a screenshot of. And so I'll put that on the instructions uh, on Canvas. But basically, you'll just take a, a screenshot of each page that has, uh, I think there's like six fractions on each page. And then that way, when you go in your, your assignment for Class Kick, and you're gonna sort all your cards out, uh, you'll sort them uh, basically from your photos. So. I think, again, I think if you watch this video, you'll kind of see what to do. So basically you're gonna have a page that says equal to a half, a page that says greater than a half, and a page that says less than a half. You have a fourth page, but your fourth page basically is there. Uh, it's kind of like an answer sheet. So you're gonna do that last page at the end. So I'm gonna go back to the page that says equal to a half, okay. Once you take your screenshots, you're going to go to your photos, you're going to choose from your photos, and I'm going to pick one of my sets of cards here that shows, um, you know, six of the fraction cards. And so I'm on this page that says equal to a half. Uh, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for fractions that are equal to a half that I can crop out and I can put onto this page. Well, I have six cards here, and out of the six cards, I only see a half. Well, a half is a half, basically, so it is equal to a half. So I'm gonna crop that picture out, and I'm gonna hit Done, and then that image should load on to my page, and I've got one card basically already answered here. I've got that one done. Um, you can do it multiple ways. There's some kind of more organized ways to do this, or there's kind of a scattered way to do this. I'm gonna really suggest you take my advice and do it the more organized way. What I would probably do here is I would probably try to take care of kind of like a, a picture at a time. And what I mean by that is, so I, I screenshotted that first picture that had six cards on it, well, one of the cards was a half, which is the one that you're seeing here on this page. Well, then that means there's five other cards. So what I might do next is I might go to my next page, which is greater than a half. I go back to my photos. I select that same picture that I was on earlier, and I go, okay, well, off of this one, which ones are greater than a half? Well, I may not do them all, but I can easily look at this fraction, two halves, or two over two, that's definitely greater than half because that's equal to a whole. And so I would hit done, and then I know that that card goes here. So if you're organized in that way, then you can go, okay, I'm gonna basically do a, uh, one of my screenshots at a time. Your screenshot should have six fractions on each screenshot. So when you get those six done, you're like, okay, I got that one out of the way, I'm gonna go on to my next screenshot. So if you do it correctly, and um, and basically how it should look at the end, or you're gonna have multiple cards on equal to a half, multiple cards on greater than a half, and multiple cards on less than a half. At the end, you're gonna fill out this table and you're gonna list all your fractions that were greater than a half, less than a half, or equal to a half. I've just put the fraction one half here uh, as just kind of a freebie because that was the one that I had already done with you guys. Uh, what I will do, I won't do it right now, but tomorrow I'll come in and up here in red, I will put how many fractions you should have under each column. So you know that you did it right or you missed one or you have too many on one. And so you'll see exactly how many that you need. 
I'll do that part tomorrow when you guys are working. All right, so really look at this video. Watch it a couple times if you need some help. Should be pretty easy. You just need to make sure that you take your screenshots and from your screenshots, that's where you're gonna do your cropping out. I did have a question last year when we did this and the question was, can we crop out multiple cards at a time? Sure, that's perfectly fine with me. You just need to be careful which ones you're cropping out and make sure under the, the right category. All right, use your notes from today. Really think about benchmark fractions for this. This assignment should not be too hard.